What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today I'm going through the most profitable way to go and make money as the collector. Now if you do want to just have fun with the collector by all means just carry on doing what you're doing going to get the treasure maps but if you do want to go and make money you realistically want to just focus on this because this gives you the biggest way and the most profitable way to go and make money within this collector role. It also goes and gives you a lot of XP for the role and also a lot of just character XP so you could just rank up normally. To make the most money out of this role, you are gonna be wanting to focus on the coin set. The other sets are still very good and they do give out some very, very nice money, but it's still not as much as what you can get for a coin set. Now, on top of this, you do also need to rank up to rank five, I believe, to go and unlock the coin map. You can still go and collect coins, but it's a lot harder to go and find. And what I've been doing, and it's been the most successful thing for me, is by getting the coin map, going to get those three different locations, go to those locations, quickly go and get the coins and then just head off, go and get another map again. And that has been making me a lot of money. So once you get to rank five, you can then go and unlock the coin map and that costs $27. And that is very, very expensive, especially when you go and compare it to the other stuff that we can go and buy. On top of all of this, you also need to go and buy a metal detector, which is $700. Now instantly you are in the hole by a lot of money and that's gonna put off a lot of people, but you'll easily be able to go and make this money back in no time. So going back to the $27 map that you can go and get for the coins, with that you'll get three different locations of three different coins and so far out of every map that I've done it's always been three different locations. With some other maps I've had two locations but with the coin one it's always been three. Now there's also 15 coins to go and collect and it's been very very nice. I really like how Rockstar have done this where it seems like if you have 14 coins out of the 15 coins that can be collected the chances of you going to get a map and that next coin being the last one that you need is actually very very high which means it's very easy to go and complete these sets all you need to do is go and put the time in and travel to different locations so with this let's quickly go and do some maps there is 15 coins to be collected and you can buy a map with for $27 and in that you can get three different locations so that means you need to go and get five different maps unfortunately you cannot go and stack these you need to go back and forth from the different locations all the way back to Madame Nazar, but that works out at being $135. For every map that I did, from going all the way over to Madame Nazar to go and buy the map itself, to then open the map, to then go into all three locations, and then coming all the way back to Madame Nazar without fast travel, most of the time, the average was around about 10 minutes, which means in about an hour, I should be able to go and complete this set. Now, likewise, you could always go and use the fast travel posts as well, go and fast travel to your camps, go and fast travel to different areas, different towns, and by sure that will definitely increase the speed that you can go and complete this set. But it also increases how much money you'll be spending, and myself, I'm all about making that money, so I decided just to carry on riding on horseback. So in about an hour of just going through, going back to Madame Nazar, going to get these maps, going to complete the locations, spending $135 on five different maps to go and get coins, I'm then able to go and complete the set and go and sell it for $500. $40. That means I'm making a $405 profit every time I go and complete this set. Now you could always go and complete the map, go to the three different locations, come back to Madame Nazar and then go and sell the items there and then go and buy a map again and then go out again. Yes, that will still give you profit, but if you was to go and sell all the individual pieces of the jewelry that you can get from the 15 different coins, you're making $270, which means you're still making profit. It's still a $135 profit, but that is nothing compared to the $405 profit you can get if you completed the set. Also, for completing the set, you can get yourself a lot of good stuff, especially now that we're at the point where you can rank up your character, you then have the Wheeler, Rawson and Co club to then rank up, and then you have the role itself to rank up in this case it is the collector and I feel like I've timed this perfectly because as soon as I handed this in and completed this set I got 1500 XP for completing it which then ranked up the Wheeler Rawson and Co club it also ranked up my character and also I managed to go and rank up the collector as well because then it also added some more XP on top of that and whilst we're on the subject of still going to get XP as the collector you still go and get XP every time you go and find one of these coins 
coins. So out of the 15 coins that you get, you get around about 100 to 150 XP every time you go and dig up one of these coins. So if you are someone that is enjoying the new collector role that has been added to Red Dead Online, but you're also wanting to make yourself a lot of money just so that you can be sitting on it, whilst we go and get new content every single week, the coin set is definitely the way to go. Definitely go and complete that, go and get that $540 and go and make that $405 profit. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.